Got a couple improvements made to the shadows, rendering this voxel engine. Well, um, let's illustrate two bugs that got fixed to create kind of a more beautiful shadow system. Um, first of all, we've got these four pillars here rotated at different angles. This one's zero, this one's 90, this one's 180, this one's 270. And we can see that this one here, the 90 degree rotation does not have any shadow. Um, the next issue that got fixed was when we get to this angle right here, you can see that all of these shadows start to mess up. Something's wrong there, right? Every other angle, well, except for this one right here. Um, oh, these ones too. Anyways, when you get beyond 180 degrees on the camera rotation, we start to see those missing shadows. So let's look at the solutions for both of those. Um, this is this one was kind of embarrassing how long it took to, to uh, fix, um, but basically it was just a rounding error. I was doing this to round, right? I was taking the position of this, the ray that's being, or the, yeah, the ray that's being shadow cast, and uh, to round it, I was just taking the position as a floating point plus 0.05. And anybody that's that know that thinks about um, all of the whole numbers or any of the imagine the real numbers below zero, you're gonna realize that algorithm's not gonna work, right? The right, the correct algorithm to round code quickly um, without calling um, L round F or R int or uh, nearby int is to do this. You compare it with zero, and if it's above zero, you add 0.5. If it's less than zero, you subtract 0.5. God, this was so embarrassing because I was looking through this function all day, right? I'm, I'm optimizing shade voxels. I'm trying to fix this bug. I'm um, like looking at every bit of the code except for where it was rounding. So anyways, that was funny. But that's super cool. So let's check out that, um, that first fix using the correct rounding method. There we go, we've got the shadow appearing again, except for this little blotch right here, but that'll get fixed as well. It's, a, it's actually a separate issue. So now we have uh, this 90 degree pillar is uh, actually casting a shadow correctly. And uh, okay, let's go look at the other issue here. Um, we'll go ahead and fix it. Well, let's go re, re take one more look at it. Let's go back to this camera angle. And once again, we have these sort of like stringy shadows going on most of the voxels are not correctly casting shadows it's because i wasn't i was breaking from the loop i think i have this in about three normal collisions let's look at that how this actually is working basically uh i was this is a normal check right so as the ray for casting a shadow is being cast it, this it has to check the normal for the voxel that it's hitting to see if it can cast a shadow on that voxel so um, this is a simple check. Basically, I, I, was, I thought this was would be the solution to this problem, but it, it didn't actually solve the problem. This is my old solution of checking normal deltas based on each dimension, sort of adding up a number and, and comparing that whole number. This ended up being actually the better algorithm um, as far as looks go and simplicity and optimization, so kept that. But here's what was actually causing the problem. I was actually just um, breaking whenever there was a normal, basically a normal collision, right? It all used to look like that, I just broke. Um, but now it actually counts the number of normal collisions and breaks after a certain limit rather than um, breaking right away. So let's see that with it, that in place with the max normal collision set to about three. Even at one, it actually will reveal these shadows a lot better. So there we go, now we've got some cool shadows at this angle. Um, there's another, of course, yet another issue. I actually fixed this last, last week, but I'll have to refix it um, now. Basically, uh, you can see that the, this, this firelight should be casting a shadow. It's not visible right now, so that's also another bug, but it's also col colliding with the other shadow from right here. So the reason we're seeing a, a slight bit of uh, shadow, non-shadowed area on this pillar right here is because the player is casting a shadow straight to the right there so and they're overlapping each other but anyways um this is really some good progress to be made especially i noticed like the shadows look a lot thicker in general like right here this all of these different camera angles the shadow for this player is looking really good it doesn't matter the camera angle and we've still got the normals working so check it out as we walk across this bridge right here the shadow is only being cast on the top of these voxels right here um, any other sh any side wall down there is not going to be reflective enough. It shouldn't reflect this shadow ray. 
There's still a few dots and pixels here and there. I'm not sure exactly why that is. But I, I get that figured out. Um, another issue that was kind of related to this was, not an issue, but I thought it was part of the issue, was um, in applying normals, calculating the original normals, I found out that some voxels were not actually getting any normals at all. And let's look at some a good example of that. In ground A, um, this voxel right here, oops, let's, face, let's go to voxel mode, boom. That voxel right there, when I went to go com calculate its normal, let's look at this normal algorithm, how it works. It's basically just calculating, it take, uh, I already covered this in a different video, but basically it checks to the left, checks to the right for each dimension. Um, so anyways, on this right here in the X dimension, we look to the left and we look to the right and it has nothing. So that X is X normal zero, right? According to that algorithm. And then we check the Y and we also have no voxel there and another no voxel just above it. So again, once again, we have a zero. And then Z is a little bit different. We have a voxel above and below. So that also calculates a zero. So basically, there's a check. If the, if the normal is ever zero, 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 it goes ahead and tries to find a more specific normal or any kind of normal to represent that voxel rather than it just being zero. Because then when it casts a shadow, um, or when it actually get when it receives a shadow, it's not going to be quite as accurate of an algorithm. So, anyways, I can toy with some of this stuff to try and get some of those little tiny one and two voxels that are shadow that are being casted at one like certain angles. Like right, let's, let's see. There's a couple little voxels here and there. It's like reflecting off on the sides of that that bridge right there. I can play around with that. But anyways, the, the, the important stuff is in here, right? Voxels now have X, the, X, all the normals. And that allows these shadows to be accurate um, even at, uh, when they're being cast onto faces that they shouldn't. Ooh, that's kind of weird. That's actually... Shouldn't be casting the shadow through there. Oh, it might actually be the normal collisions. Shoot. But anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I uh, hope you learned something. I'll check you later.